his calendar for a couple of months now. Jarek 120 and Darby Allen squaring off a grudge match here in Melrose. Darby attacked by Jarek, as was Jason Kincaid. Jarek suspended, now back this weekend, and Darby finally gets his chance to get his hands on the man who tried to take him out. And Jarek 120, quick, Oklahoma Road to the victory in a near fall. Jarek 120 wanted the attention of Darby Allen, and well, he got it. Andy Cartwright has been warned. Darby Allen, Jarek is coming. Well, he's here, and they are meeting face to face in this grudge match. And it's Darby able to slay oh. one dragon last night, knocking off Walter in a tremendous matchup in Brooklyn. Check my brain, is he for the win here? No. And Darby Allen wasted no time looking for the last supper. Corkscrew punch him off the springboard for another near fall. And Jared is having trouble getting out of the blocks here. Darby Allen up top, and Jared made him pay there. Jared with the lovely assistant, Candy Cartwright, on the outside. Jared showing unbelievable agility right there. Nowhere for Allen to go. Hung upside down at a rather precarious angle. You gotta wonder if any any damage was done to his knee right there, Ron. Well, the damage that was done last night by Walter, Jared 120 has got to be aware. You know he was watching very close with Candy Cartwright last night. He plans to expose any injuries. Jared 120 starting out quick. Blue Thunderbomb out of the corner for a near fall. And the King of Hurts. Looking to put a hurt on Darby Allen here, the man along with Jason Kincaid that Jarek targeted as needing to take out to earn a spot here in the upper echelon within a ball, and they are trading heavy blows right in the middle of the ring. Allen, open hand strikes, rock Jarek, who comes out of the corner. Almost a dangerous collision there, fortunately for Jarrett, got out of the way. And now it's Allen with the mount, just driving the head of Jarrett in the canvas, who can do nothing but cover up right there. You heard Jarrett 120 tell Darby Allen, he's the face of Evolve. Tonight, sporting the purple, the white. Yeah, wearing the colors of Evolve is Jarrett this evening. No. Jarrett wisely has that scouted. No fire alarm is going to stop these two from tearing out of the floor. Oh, chest first to the guardrail. Goes Darby Allen. And after all those thunderous chops from Volker last night, I got to say, pretty good strategy on the part of Jarrett right there. Jarrett not being distracted at all, sticking to his game plan. The new aggressiveness shown by Jarrett 120. Well, he's certainly given had the fans asking Jarrett to use his magic to set the alarm back on. Over one million followers on YouTube for Jarek 120. Well, he's certainly giving him a lot to like tonight. Oh! Stomach first on the turnbuckle. More damage done to the chest and the midsection of Darby Allen. And this, not a great building for Darby Allen in terms of his physical health. We saw him throw caution in the wind and dive with a broken arm on a Stokely Hathaway here several months back. As Allen and Jarrett jockeying on a top turnbuckle. Jarrett putting Allen to sleep perhaps here. All the way to the top. Allen in prone position here. Way too much time. Ooh, 
telegraphed that elbow leg. And Darby was telling me he stayed up in the hospital in New Orleans for four days thinking about this weekend. And can he go two for two here? Back and forth they go. He's been waiting for this weekend since the WWE. Live experience in New Orleans. How about these fans, Lenny? Best fans in the world. They're going anywhere. The building could be on fire. We all burn to the ground together. They're going to be terrific. His magic worked a little slow, but it worked nonetheless. Well, Candy Cartwright has the wand. She should have just waved it. <laughs> This win desperately. Let's not make any bones about it. All the attention that he's garnered here in the ball still desperately needs that victory, and that could be it. Super kick right on the button. Is it enough to finish off Allen? No, another two count as Darby gets the left shoulder up. Jack Manning claims he is an inspiration to children everywhere, teaches them magic. That's quite a claim. He's not beating or clothing or doing anything with him. He's teaching them magic. Quite the inspiration. Let me show you how to saw Candy Cartwright in half, kid. And it's Allen now, once again, placed up top. This did not go well for Darby Allen the last time he was up there. And Jarrett looking to finish Darby off, perhaps. Once and for all here. Backbreaking position. And Jarrett standing on the second. This not looking good for Darby Allen. Looking very good for Jarrett Clubber. Foot on the ropes. Is there anybody with more heart on the involved roster than Darby Allen? I ask you, Lenny. Seriously. No way. What we saw him go through last night at Evolve 106, picking up the victory against that monstrous wolf. For well, what we've seen him go through in the last two years, walked in the door in Dallas, Texas at the WWE Live Experience two years ago, got dropped on his head by Ethan Page and lost the match in less than 10 seconds, and then ended up with a shot at the Evolve Championship in Zack Sabre Jr. and came very, very close to winning that match. And then almost being taken out on pro wrestling permanently after a severe injury, wrestling for progress in New Orleans. But fortunately, he is back and he is looking as good as he's looked in quite some time. Up to the top again! Jarek makes him pay. Back he goes into the tree of war, which has been a whole very precarious position. And Jarek has tremendous agility. We've seen him utilize the coast to coast drop kick in the pass. He's got Allen with nowhere to go. Friends from the UK, we look forward to all of those events.